hey guys welcome back first let's sign in and then we can head over to the create board once we're here at the create board why don't we get this scratch out of our way and then we can choose a backdrop I'm gonna choose the blue sky backdrop because it's a gorgeous day outside here so it's a gorgeous day inside our scratch this backdrop is very nice but if we wanted to make it our own we can go over here at the top left corner where is our code category and right beside our code category we have our backdrop folder so if we click on the backdrop folder it brings us to this page here and on this page we have our reshape we have our paintbrush we have our eraser we have our fill text and we have a couple different uh, options for shapes and then along the top we have our delete, our flip horizontal, which will flip it backwards from left to right or from right to left, or our flip vertical, which will flip it from up to down or down to up. So the sunny day looks great, but it's missing one thing, the big sun. So I'll go over here to the paintbrush, and up here at the top it says fill, and the fill here is purple. So first, I made a mark that I don't like, so if I don't want that, I can go back over here to this backwards kind of shape button and I can click that and it'll take away what I just did. Next if we go back to this area that says fill and we click the drop down menu it gives us the option to choose a different color. I'm gonna go with yellow because the sun seems pretty yellow and I'll make it nice and bright. And then oh we still have that little font. So the next thing we can do is we can go over here to this area where it has a paintbrush and these little numbers and we can just push the numbers up. Let's try 30 and see how it does. Oh, I'm at 40, so we'll try 40. So a little bit bigger. Am I gonna be able to draw a nice big sun with this one? Maybe, but maybe we can try a bigger font. So here we have 85, where we got a nice big line and it just takes me like three swipes to get the corner filled up with the sun. Now we can bring our font all the way back down so that we can make our own sun rays so that the sun is projecting its warmth all over our project. If you want you can always change your color and you can add some sunglasses to your cool dude. Next, if we go back to our code category, we can choose our first sprite. I'm going to choose the balloon. We can start off by heading over to our events category and grabbing our when this sprite clicked block and setting it right at the top. Next, we can go in our sound category and play our play sound until done and drop that on the board as well. If we're making a game, we're going to want to have a score. So if we go into variables, we can make a variable at the very top, like last time, and we can do score. S-C-O-R-E. And then when we grab our change variable by one block, now we can use the drop down menu and we can grab our score from there. And add that to our play sound until done. Now we can attach that to our when the sprite clicked, and now whenever our sprite is clicked, it'll make a noise, and our variable will change. Let's go under events, and we're going to grab a one green flag clicked block, and drop that on the board. Next under motion, we can grab a glide one sec to random position block, we can grab a wait one second block, And we can also grab a forever and put that around there. So now when the green flag is clicked, oh goodness. So now if we attach this here, when the green flag is clicked, our ball will move around a bunch of times. And if we click it, our score will change. Now if we go under looks, 
we can find the change color effect by 25. If we take that out and we place it on top of the glide block inside of the forever loop, now while our balloon is moving all around the place and we're trying to click it, it'll change a different color. To reset your score, you can use the event code, the when green flag clicked block, and then you can use in variables set my score to zero. So now, the first time when you play using the green flag, your score will reset until you start playing your game again. I'd love to see what you guys have in your creative minds to make and scratch. So let's see what you guys have, and I'll see you guys another time. Thank you, and have a great summer.